Hey guys, it's Dan, your host your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond this for Season 1, Episode 6, Shadow Puppets. I say we smash and grab. Go. Help! Be left! Okay guys, just going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond. This week is for Season 1, Episode 6, Shadow Puppets. So, um, very, very, very interesting episode this week. I would say this episode uh, was a very good episode. It had a few moments that I wasn't exactly the biggest fan of, though. But in terms of an episode overall, I thought it was pretty good this week. I mean, I thought it was a, a pretty good episode. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, yeah, World Beyond is definitely not... Uh, it's not blowing me away right now, but, you know, which has kind of been the trending thing for the last couple weeks is that I'm like, okay, like, it's like some of these episodes are okay, but definitely, um, I want to see more, but, uh, next week's episode looks really, really good. We got, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on in that one. We'll discuss more about that at the end of the, uh, review, but just to talk about this episode, so Shadow Puppets obviously referring to the kind of, uh, well, literally, these Shadow Puppets that we see at the beginning and the end of the episode with, um, kind of the world before and then kind of the walkers how they took over the world and stuff like that so uh as these uh you know kind of new characters are kind of doing this uh for uh you know iris and the others so i don't know it's it's all right so basically the premise of this week's episode is we get to see basically uh this uh piercy guy who uh i guess lost uh his supplies uh you know with another group uh that he was with uh, before him uh and you know uh, another uh, another character or whatever and basically uh he tells them that uh, he wants to go back Back and get his, you know, stuff or whatever. Um, and they go with him, basically. So, uh, in terms of kind of Piercy's character in this episode, uh, I thought he was all right. I thought he was a decent character, but I really didn't like how he kind of messed with our, you know, characters in this episode. It was really kind of frustrating. But um, the the problem is with World Beyond, and this is kind of the one thing I'm running into a lot with this show is that um, I don't feel bad for these characters when they kind of get messed around with like this, like in this episode. I just I'm like. Okay, yeah, like, you know, um, and, and that's, that is a problem, you know, that is a problem, you know, you should feel really like, oh, darn it, like, they got these guys, like, I'm like, okay, like, these kids, they're kind of acting a little dumb anyway, so I'm like, okay, like, it kind of makes sense that they would fall for something like this, and specifically, you know, Huck isn't around, so you only have Felix there, which Felix, by himself, is really tough and really smart, um, but definitely, they probably could have used Huck there as well. But I, I don't know. That's just me. But basically, uh, in this episode, they, they basically fall for a trap. You know, uh, you know his supplies, you know, they aren't there, that type of thing. And you basically have, you know, as soon as our characters are kind of distracted, as Iris kind of goes up there with Piercy, and you've got basically Silas out there on his own, this random guy that basically plays dead uh, at first, he basically takes... And th this, this scene, I was like, come on. Like, seriously, you got to be kidding me. When he literally takes the supplies and it runs away while Silas is looking the other way. Um, that was a stretch for me. I'm sorry, that was a stretch. And I was not a big fan of how they did that. And it just made our characters look so stupid. I mean, I'm sorry, but it made our characters look so dumb. Um, However, I will say one thing about this. I really do like how they kind of played our characters because it was very well executed, you know? Uh, this guy pretended to be dead and he wasn't even dead and then he takes the stuff, you know? So even though I don't agree with, you know, how our characters maybe pretend, you know, acted a lot in this episode, uh, I did like how they kind of played our characters a little bit. I thought it was kind of, uh, kind of an interesting kind of, uh, obstacle for the episode. So basically, um, I, I, you know, Iris wants to go after the guy, obviously, and the rest of the kids, you know, for, and they want to get their supplies back they want to get their stuff back and you've got iris that basically falls into this kind of uh you know um you know um storage container type thing with this uh walker that's coming at her and all this kind of stuff and basically they make the decision in this episode piercy and this other guy to to save them and uh kind of change their mind change their tune and kind of uh you know rescue them and i'm just like okay uh, all right, you know, um, so basically then they help them out and then, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, help out our characters, uh, you know, kind of get out of there. So I, I don't know. So it was, it was interesting. They, they kind of, they, they rob them at first, then they kind of decide to join them and then they kind of become one big group at the end. So I'm like, okay, so 
uh, all right, you know, decent stuff. Some things were a stretch for me, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little mixed on that stuff, I'll be honest, but it was all right. You know, it was all right. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't great either, though. Um, it was just all right for me. Now, the biggest thing about this, this is the, the, the part of this episode I, when I really was starting to get into it, though, is when we find out that this truck is actually a CRM truck, and I'm like, Oh, crap. So, where is that going to go uh, next week? That's going to be very interesting. And we know, we can clearly tell from next week's episode from the promo, uh, which, you know, obviously tells us that they are going to be looking at a CRM map. So, that'll be very interesting. I'm very excited to see what that's going to be. And next week's episode, I am expecting to be very good uh, because we have Huck returning and Hope that kind of gets into uh, a little bit of a kind of skirmish there as well, too. So, that, you know, next week's episode looks really, really exciting. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they do next week because I think next week might be a really good episode. So, um, but yeah, basically, Iris and Piercy, I guess, kind of form some kind of friendship-ish kind of at the end. Um... And Iris, as usual, just kind of a, a cringy character for me in this episode. Um, now, in terms of Felix, you know, as a character, obviously this uh, this episode, he took out a few walkers. We saw some cool stuff like that. But, uh, and I do think that Felix is still, you know, probably one of the best characters in the show. But, uh, you know, that's that's that. So I did like Felix in this episode. As usual, I think he's an awesome character. But, uh, yeah, you know, some new characters this episode. Uh, you know, they, they kind of trick our characters. Then they kind of, you know, save them at the same time. So I don't know. Uh, they were pretty smart, though with the one guy playing dead and really like going all out on this you know kind of diversion but um I don't know. It was decent. So let's talk about the post credit scene, though. Okay, so all that stuff that was all right, but uh, the post credit scene we've got the same lady that we saw at the end of uh, season one, episode four. Now, yes, if you guys are not aware, we do have another post credit scene for this episode. So if you do not, you know, if you don't know about it, uh, if you want to maybe shut off this video right now and go watch it, go back and you'll see that there's a post credit scene, and then maybe return to the review. But yes, there was a post credit scene for this week um, with a picture that they have of Hope and Iris, which is very interesting. And they've got phones, which is definitely something that threw me off. I mean, I guess, but uh, they got uh, tape recorders, but they got good old phones there too. So um, I don't know. That's kind of interesting to me. But uh, yeah, so they've got phones. The CRM has phones, and uh, apparently, um, you know, uh, she's talking to a Lieutenant Colonel, who basically uh, is talking about their dad, obviously, and how uh, everything will be taken care of and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have to see where that goes. Obviously, we only got four more episodes left to see how this season goes, and I am kind of sensing a bit of a kind of feel of. Of, um, based off of the promo for next week and the way this one goes, I'm kind of sensing that things are about to get really intense here coming up. So I'm, I'm actually, I am kind of starting to get excited to see what they do because I'm, I'm starting to get that vibe that I'm like, okay, things are about to really start picking up here. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting excited. I'll be honest. So this episode, it, it, it was a lot better for me than uh, the last two. Uh, some of the decisions from our characters, you know, kind of falling for the trap and Silas and then the guy runs up, takes the stuff and runs away. Some of that stuff was a, st a stretch for me for this week. I'll, I just, I gotta be honest, but, um, I, I am all right with the, the new character. Characters, Piercy and this other character, but I'm, I don't know, I, I, I want to see more from them, honestly, but uh, definitely, I'm, I'm very excited to see what they do, because, you know, now that they're kind of all together with the kids, uh, it should be a very interesting, uh, you know, next few episodes to kind of wrap up the season, and the CRM definitely, as usual, are kind of causing a, uh, a threat, so I, I'm very excited to see what they, what they have uh, for us for these next four episodes of season one, so, uh, and then whenever season two comes out, but for this episode, I'm going to give it an eight this week, you know, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten, I think it's a, uh, a decent episode for World Beyond. Some really good stuff near the end there, uh, especially with the post credit scene, of course, and uh, definitely excited to see what they do for the whole CRM stuff uh, coming up, because I, I am very intrigued to see what they do next for uh, World Beyond, because like I said, it really does have a feel of kind of like every week, and now it's it's going to really build up to something here, so, um, because now they're, they're, they're really getting into the whole CRM stuff, they're really starting to give us some of that stuff, and uh, I am I am very intrigued. For once for World Beyond, after this episode, I left the episode feeling intrigued and excited for the next episode. So, um, should be really cool, uh, you know, in terms of this episode, like I said, 8 out of 10, decent stuff, you know, decent kind of, uh, you know, new stuff with the, you know, the new characters and stuff, and I expect, you know, uh, kind of, like I said, more of a kind of ramp up to this, you know, kind of last few episodes. Um, 
and maybe we'll actually get a really solid finale. Let's hope, uh, because, you know, one can only hope, really. So, um, anyway, Felix is awesome. Uh, you know, Piercy's a decent character. The Shadow Puppet stuff, I'm like, man, I don't care. Uh, and uh, the stuff with them getting robbed was kind of a bit of a stretch for me at times, but still really exciting and still some some really good stuff. And kind of them joining up with our, our characters, our good guys, was, you know, pretty cool. And the post credit scene, I, I did enjoy with, you know, uh, you know the phones. They got phones and stuff and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, should be a great, you know, next few episodes. This episode... So, like I said, 8 out of 10, and uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what comes up next. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for World Beyond this week. What do you guys think about this week's episode? I definitely want to hear that from you guys in the comments section below. Did you guys like this week's episode of World Beyond? I was pretty, you know, okay with it. You know, okay to good. You know, 8 out of 10. Pretty good episode, and uh, definitely, uh, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, my, my hopes are going a little bit higher now, because we are getting close to the end of the season now, and I'm expecting for some things to kind of ramp up here. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, click the subscribe button to send my videos for The Walking Dead World Beyond. Follow Dan's Walking Reviews on Instagram, guys, and of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for The Walking Dead World Beyond. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Anybody out there?